Now, should we stay or should we go? The Leave and Remain campaigns are out in force at events around the UK as they set out their core message to voters in the EU referendum on the 23rd of June. Preeti Patel, Minister of State for Employment, will be coming to the region tomorrow to call on the people of the West Midlands to vote Leave. The rally at Edgbaston Cricket Ground is one of 14 major events taking place across the UK this weekend. And joining me now in the studio is Arabella Arkwright, board member of Vote Leave and partner in Hatton Country World and director and investor of a healthcare business. Welcome, Arabella. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for coming. So, first of all, why do you think Britain should leave the EU? Simple. Britain should leave the EU so that we get £350 million pounds of our, week, our money back from Brussels a week. And more importantly for the West Midlands, the West Midlands sends £25 million pounds a week. That's £1.2 billion pounds a year, more than double the cost of the new Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham, quarter of the school budgets for the West Midlands, 12 times the highway budgets for the mm. West Midlands, and 113 times as much as we invest in flood defences in the West Midlands. Don't you think that perhaps we could be better off in a reformed EU, safeguarding our position in the massive single market at the moment? Reformed EU? What reformed EU? David Cameron went round mm. all the leaders of Europe with a begging bowl, with the fifth largest economy in the world. He came back with nothing. He came back with a backdated promise that some of the greatest minds in England, the legal minds of England, said it's not worth the paper it's written on. Now, talking about David Cameron, he sent leaflets to 27 million homes this week um, regarding reasons to stay in the EU. He spent around £9 million of taxpayers' money. Boris Johnson criticised this move and called it crazy. Would you agree? I think it's incredibly disappointing of a British Prime Minister to spend £9 million of taxpayers' money that could be better spent on the NHS, on our infrastructure. Mm. So yes, I completely agree with Boris Johnson. And you say better spent in the NHS. If that, the EU membership fee that we currently pay at the moment, where do you think that money, if we leave, where do you think it could be better spent? on the NHS, on our infrastructure, in our, for our housing, in schools. This country needs to keep the money in this country and spend it in this country on its people. And Barack Obama, so he's coming from the US to the UK next week with the viewpoint that Britain should remain in the EU because if we leave, he thinks our economy could suffer. Well, I would suggest to Barack Obama, um, with the greatest of respect, that he looks after his own economy. And if we went into America and said to him and told him mm. how, he should, how he should run his country, I know exactly what the Americans would say to us. And, I mean, there are an estimated 3.5 million jobs in Britain which are linked to the UK's trade with the rest of Europe. So, if we leave, surely it will be damaging to millions of British workers? Absolutely not. We will get a free trade deal. It's in the EU's interest to give us a free trade deal with the fifth largest economy in the, in the world. And when we leave, we're going to be the EU's single largest export market. And we already import £80 billion more than we export. And so just to give you an example, yeah. every one car that we export, we import too. So to suggest that there's going to be trade tariffs slapped on us is irresponsible. Now, you're a businesswoman yourself, so what, how do you think leaving the EU, how are you going to benefit and other West Mid businesses in the West Midlands? Do you know, for, for our business, we're, we're, we're a visitor attraction, so we, we need a thriving economy. We need people to have money in their pockets to come and spend a lovely day out. But it's not really about our businesses, our business. It's about the businesses in the region. It's about, it's about getting back that money, cutting red tape, being able to free small businesses to be able to trade. Small businesses are governed by the same red tape as big businesses, yet they don't have the lawyers and the people that go and lobby the EU. The EU keeps small businesses down and promotes big businesses. 
it's like it's it, it, it's undemocratic and we live in a democratic country and we need to remain in a democratic and free country and just very quickly do you think businesses in the west midlands are being prepped in terms of staying in the eu or leaving the eu that's why pretty patel is coming tomorrow she's employment minister she'll give you some jolly good reasons why Britain would be better out of the EU. Thank you very much, Arabella. Thank you. So that back to my guest, Arabella Arkwright. Welcome back. Thank you. The last question I asked you was, do you think businesses are prepped enough in terms of leaving the EU or remaining in the EU? And there's also an event going on tomorrow to give businesses more of an idea of why to leave the EU. If you want to explain a bit more about what's going on tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, it's Priti Patel, the employment minister who's mm -hmm. coming, and she will be talking to business people but also it's it's a public event so the public can come they can ask questions I'm going to be um, emceeing it and trying to keep everybody in order mm -hmm. it's at the edge busting cricket ground and yeah. it starts at 4 30 um, and in fact we have more than 500 campaigns events taking place across the UK mm. um, and as I say pretty will be leading the one in Birmingham and I very mm. much hope all your readers all your not readers all your <laughs> viewers will, will come along and um, listen to the points for leaving the EU and and that's at 4.30 at, 4 the, Edge 30 at the Edge Buster Cricket Ground. Yes. Wonderful. OK, now um, back to the, the free movement of people across the EU, which opens up job opportunities for British, work, British workers seeking employment in Europe and abroad. If we had to leave the EU, what would happen to these employees who want to work abroad in Europe, who are currently working abroad in Europe at the moment? Well, when we leave the EU, um, the idea that the French and the German companies are not going to want um, to employ our brightest and our best mm. is quite frank, and vice versa. We're going to want them to come to work here, they're going to want us to come to work there. It's quite frankly spurious and talking down Britain of the worst kind. And a drop in immigration in the EU, this could potentially mean labour shortages, which could actually, you know, result in a, the economy not growing. What, what would you say to that? I would say that the, um, the EU trading bloc has been in negative growth since 2008. Um, I would also say that we have given too much control of our economy to the EU, our public services and our key decisions that affect our daily lives. Uncontrolled immigration has put unsustainable pressure on our vital public services like the NHS, jobs, housing and schools. And you know, voting to stay in, this is what really concerns me, is people say, I'm going to vote in because it's, you know, we know what it's like. What people must understand is that voting to stay in is not voting for the status quo. It's not only voting to give more money to the EU, it's voting to give supremacy of, to, to, to be under supremacy of EU law forever. So it's safer to take back control and vote out of Europe. Now, terrorism and security, that also has a big part to play. I know this is a big reason why David Cameron wants to remain in the EU. People are saying if we stay in the EU, we're going to have greater connections to the leads, information sharing and so on. Would you agree? Well, sadly, that wasn't quite the case in Brussels nor in Paris and the ex-MI6 um, John Dearlove, I believe he's called, um, he, he disagreed with it. The ex-head of Interpol said it's like hanging a sign welcoming um, terrorists in. Um, and what you've got to remember that it is not the EU that keeps, keeps us safe, it's NATO. The only time the EU has ever got involved in a conflict, it was in Bosnia. And in Bosnia, the Americans and the NATO had to come and rescue the situation. Also something people, not many people know about is there's something called Five Eyes, which is an intelligence sharing information between Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Great Britain and Australia and they share intel and I know who I want on my side. So do you think we're safer away from terrorism by leaving the EU? I think we're safer from terrorism when we can control our own borders and decide who comes in. Okay, and I mean, just quickly, do you think we will be losing our reputation if we leave the EU? No, I don't think so at all. I think we're going to grow. We're, Great Britain is it should be a global, outward-looking, international country, trading with its friends and its neighbours and its allies thank across you. the world. Well, thank you. That's it for this part. Here's the weather. If we leave the EU, will Britain re-establish itself as a truly independent nation. Can this be achieved? Absolutely. 
For the last 18 months in a row, we've done more trade outside of Europe than in. We need to be, as I, as I, as I said before, we need to be a global outward-looking economy, trading with our friends and neighbours across the world and the EU, which is perfectly reasonable. And, and, and I don't understand why anybody would assume we couldn't do it. We're the fifth largest economy in the world. We, 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 have, um, we have clout. So you think Britain can stand on its own two feet? Most definitely, don't you? <laughs> OK, let's talk about small businesses now. Um, so are they in favour of leaving? Well, in the West Midlands, there are just under 400,000 um, businesses in the West Midlands. Over 99% of them are small to medium size, small to medium size businesses. Um, and over one in four, that's 32 to 7% from the West Midlands, believe that it, the EU makes it harder to employ people. And 69 to 20% of small to medium sized businesses in the West Midlands polled believe that the UK, not the EU, should make free trade deals. Now, Preeti Patel, she's saying that small businesses, they suffer from a necessary red tape imposed by the EU. If you could just expand on that, what does this mean? Where is she getting at? Well, red tape affects our everyday lives. In our businesses, we have a maintenance team because we have a visitor attraction. You have to, you know, and, and nobody's, nobody's saying that, you know, um, safety in the workplace isn't very important. Mm. But the EU has, is turning us into idiots. It's telling us how to run our everyday lives. If you have to use a ladder, which I know is a, one that people use a lot, you have to go on a course to use it. Fishmongers. We, 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 we have a restaurant in, in our pub. The fishmongers, in their packets of fish, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the packets that the fish is wrapped in, it has to say... This packet contains fish. Okay, how, how will the West Midlands benefit if we leave the EU? How will we, as a region, as a whole, Listen, how would we benefit? I strongly support the need for change to free our country from unnecessary bureauc bureaucracy and to encourage free enterprise. And once we leave, the West Midlands will be one of the regions that benefits the most. It's the bedrock of the British industry, once mm. famous for the workshops of the world. My great-great-grandfather was Matthew Bolton, financed steam for James Watt, started the Birmingham Assay Mark. He minted high-quality coins for over six countries, revolutionary France and being one of them. My great, my, I'm married to an Arkwright, Sir Richard Arkwright, started the first factories in the world. It is those men from 200 years ago, still today, those entrepreneurs, those men and women, they are the same job creators, the, the, the wealth creators. 89% of jobs over the last 12 years have been created by small to medium-sized enterprises. And like you, Preeti Patel is saying that West Midlands will be one of the regions that suffers the most if Britain was to remain in the EU. Do you think people in the West Midlands and businesses in the West Midlands are fully aware of the consequences of remaining in the EU and leaving the EU? That is why I um, am giving my time. I'm a board member of Vote Leave mm -hmm. and that's why I have been spending as much time as I can up in London canvassing, um, also trying to collect donations and to spread the word. I talk to everybody. I had this lovely young man today who was putting a mirror up in my bathroom called Neville. I said to him, are you going to vote? He said, no, I don't, I'm not going to vote. I said, but why not? And then I explained to him and I told him the facts and the figures. He said, you've changed my mind. I'm going to vote and I'm going to vote out. I talk to everybody. Everybody. I talk to the taxi drivers, the shopkeepers. I try and talk to everybody because I believe in this country and I believe that we can go it alone and we can succeed. The EU is in negative decline. The EU is going to fail. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Now let's talk about the polls quickly now. I know that people are swaying a little bit towards more remaining in the EU. Think it's gonna be well, like you know that. something. There are there are, there are lots of different polls. I don't know which ones you've read. However, Vote Leave has just got designation. Vote Leave is starting with a bang this weekend. We have um, talks and events going on throughout the country. We have people leafleting. We have got a mass movement Wonderful. going on and a positive Thank mass you. movement. Thank you so much, Arabella. Thank I really you. do appreciate it. Time to take a break now. <laughs> 